Before we discuss about tangent second angle theorem with vertex at the point of tangency, let us first recall uh, tangent and second. Okay? So in the given figure, we have uh, tangent PQ because it intersects the circle at exactly one point. And we have A as point A as the point of tangency. Next, we have the second which is line AR because it contains the chord which is line segment AR. Okay? Next, we also have the intercepted arcs. Okay? Remember that intercepted arc is the arc opposite to the angle. So kapag nag-intersect ang uh, tangent at second at the point of tangency, meron tayong nabubuo na angle. Okay? So meron tayong angle dito. We have angle PAR at saka angle QAR. Mag-focus muna tayo dito sa dalawang ito. So we have angle PAR at angle QAR. Ang kanilang intercepted arc, for angle PAR, meron tayong arc AR. Kasi itong arc na ito ang opposite dun sa angle na yun. Next, we also have angle QAR. Ang kanyang intercepted arc ay RSA. So, we have angle RAQ or QAR. Ito yung kanyang intercepted arc. Okay? And we have the property that angle PAR plus angle QAR is equal to 180 degrees. Kasi nga, sila ay linear Pair. At alam naman natin na ang linear pair ay supplementary, kaya ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. At ang sum naman ng ating intercepted arc na AR plus RSA is equal to 360 degrees. Ngayon, ano naman ang property ng angle formed by tangent and second with vertex at the point of tangency sa kanilang intercepted arc? We have this theorem. The angle formed by tangent and second with vertex at the point of tangency is equal to half the measure of its intercepted arc. For example, we have this uh, angle formed and its intercepted arc. So we can say using this theorem that angle PAR is equal to one half of arc AR. And also, angle QAR is equal to one half of arc R S A. Oh, let's have the first problem. In circle X, if angle P A R is equal to seventy-five degrees, find the measure of the following arcs and angles. So, una natin gawin ilagay ang measurement ng given angle, which is seventy-five degrees. So, angle P A R ito iyon. We have seventy-five degrees, and then analyze the figure. Alam naman natin na ang angle PAR at QAR ay supplementary na ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. Kung ang sum nila ay 180 degrees at ito ay 75 degrees, ano na lang ang kulang dito? Which is the measure of angle QAR. So, iyon ay 105 degrees. Ngayon, paano naman natin kukunin ang measure ng intercepted arc na arc AR at arc RSA. Di ba may relationship tayo kanina na ang measure ng angle ay equal to half the measure of its intercepted arc. Since ang given natin ay itong angle, para makuha ang measure ng intercepted arc, ita times natin ito sa 2. So, 75 times 2 is equal to 150 degrees. Gayun din itong 105 degrees which is 210 degrees. Ngayon, magtatanong ang iba, sir, bakit po tayo nag times 2? Eh, di ba ba dapat magdi-divide? Kasi ang given natin dito ay iyong angle na mismo. Okay? So, that means the given angle which is 75 degrees is equal to one half the measure of arc AR. Kaya, para makuha natin itong arc AR, nag-times tayo rito sa 2. Or para hindi kayo malito, tandaan ang intercepted arc ay laging mas malaki doon sa angle na nabuo dito. Okay? So, or kapag pinag-plus niyo ito, 150 degrees, i-plus mo sa 210 degrees ay 360 degrees. Kasi yung iba ang ginagawa, i-dinidivide ito sa 2. I-alam mo na nga na dapat mas malaki ito, ba't mo pa i-dinivide sa 2? So, based on the computation, we have the measure of angle QAR which is equal to 105 degrees. The measure of arc AR is equal to 150 degrees. And the measure of arc RSA is equal to 210 degrees. Next example, given circle E with arc BD is equal to 145 degrees, find the measure of the following arcs and angles. Ilagay muna natin ang measurement ng given at i-analyze natin ang figure. 
So, arc BD is equal to 145 degrees. 145 degrees. Ayan. Since uh, 145 degrees itong arc na ito, tas meron tayong arc BFD sa kabila, di ba ang measure ng uh, kabuang measure ng circle ay 360 degrees. So, para makuha natin ito, i-minus muna itong 145 degrees. So, 360 minus 145 is equal to 512. Okay, so ito ay 215 degrees. Next, since itong dalawang ito ay intercepted arc, di ba meron tayong property that the measure of the angle is equal to half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, kalahati ng 145 ay, so divide natin sa 2, Okay, so meron tayong 72.5. Kaya ito ay 72.5 degrees. Ito namang kabila ay 215 degrees. So ito ay intercepted arc ng angle ABD. Ibig sabihin, yung angle ABD ay kalahati ng 215 degrees. Kaya 215 degrees, divide natin sa 2. So meron tayong 1. Okay, 0. Okay, and 7. Okay, so 107.5 degrees. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ang angle BFD, ang arc BFD natin ay 215 degrees. Ang measure ng angle ABD ay 107.5 degrees. At ang measure ng angle CBD ay 72.5 degrees. Next example, In the figure, if m of arc NQP is equal to 5x plus 6 and m of arc o angle ONP is equal to 3x minus 18, find m of angle MNP. Ilagay muna natin ang given measurement. Kaso ito ay in the form of algebraic expression. So, we have arc NQP. This major arc is 5x plus 6. And we also have angle ONP which is 3x minus 18. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, meron tayo ditong nabuong angle sa point of tangency at ang given ay yung kanyang intercepted arc. So, ibig sabihin, gagamitin natin yung relationship kung saan ang measure ng angle na ito ay equal sa one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, ibig sabihin, angle ONP is equal to one half of uh, arc NQP or by cross multiplication, twice the measure of angle ONP is equal to arc NQP. So, substituting the given uh, measurement, so 2 times angle ONP is 3x minus 18 is equal to ang arc NQP is equal to 5x plus 6. Then, distributive property, so 6x minus 36 is equal to 5x plus 6. Then, 6x to 5x lipat, Minus 5x is equal to 6 plus 36. Nilipat din ito. And then 6x minus 5x is equal to x. 6 plus 36 is equal to 42. Okay, so meron na tayong value ng x. Ngayon, alamin natin kung ano ang hinahanap. So, angle MNP ang hinahanap this angle. So, para mahanap yan, kailangan muna nating alamin kung anong measure nito. So, 3x minus 18 is angle ONP. So, angle ONP is equal to 3 times 3x minus 18 siya. Kaya ipapalit natin yung 42 minus 18 is equal to 3 times 42 is equal to 126 minus 18 is equal to 108. So, ibig sabihin ito ay 108 degrees. Ngayon, itong dalawang angle na ito ay supplementary dahil sila ay linear pair. So, kung 108 ito, ang kulang na lamang dito ay 72 degrees, which is the measure of angle MNP. And this is the answer.